Okay, then I want to check. Uh, I want to perform some checks, and uh, this time to our stats table. So let's go to stats table and discuss this table. Okay, here it is. This is our stats table. And I will explain you this table in a moment. Let's go back to the editor. Okay, I'm checking if uh, my visitor already exists. Basically here I want to find out if the visitor is unique or is not unique. Uh, how I determine a unique visitor. For me a unique visitor is a, an IP which is visiting a page in a current date. For example, if our visitor with the same IP will return tomorrow and will visit our page, I will add him as a new unique visitor. If he will return tomorrow and visit or even today and visit other page, the page name will be different, I will still recognize him as a new user and I will add him to uh, unique visitors. If he will visit with the same IP, the same date and the same page, then it will uh, not be unique visitor and I will not add it to my uh, unique visitors list. Okay, so here I'm checking if this visitor is currently not unique. I'm checking if the user IP is equal to the user IP, the date is equal to date and the page is equal to page. And in this case, I will not add a new entry because I am adding an entry to this table only for each unique visitor. I will just update the quantity and increase it by one uh, because just I want to add a page view. I don't want to add a unique visitor. Okay. So in this case, I will just increase the quantity. This is my way of seeing a unique visitor. Of course, you can uh, you can say that. Uh, uh, if uh, this visitor is uh, visiting other page, then it doesn't mean that he, he is unique again. But that is just my way of seeing unique visitors and that is what I am doing. Of course you can do uh, uh, as, as you want. Okay, else if this visitor is unique because this condition uh, is not true because there are no entries with the same IP, the same date and the same page, then in this case I think that this user is unique and I need to add a new entry to the stats table. Okay, then a new entry will be added here and each time uh, the same visitor will, uh, will refresh this page, there just the quantity will raise. Okay, so this part is just the part of uh, uh, of our meta text table. This is just for store. This is just to update uh, all the all the records or all, all all our stats information in the in the database in the table. Okay. So uh, in the next lesson, I will show you how I'm using this uh, information that was stored in those tables. At this lesson, I will show you how to uh, translate this into those uh, those results. Okay, let's finish the lesson and meet in the next one. Bye for now.